Well, we had no idea how we would make the pledge that we had pledged that, that God had given us, but uh, through um, unimagined circumstances and things that, that happened in our life, we were able to do it. I mean, we could not have planned it, we could not have made it up, but it happened. And that for us was a learning experience to really trust God uh, when it's beyond what we can do. It, it's not up to us, it's because it's up to Him, so we just have to be willing to be that vessel. God blessed us financially through a lot of ways, you know, we got a new home. Yes, we, we, uh, we sowed above and beyond by faith when we didn't have, and God opened up the door for us to have a home in Westchester County. I remember, you know, doubting if, if, if I could meet the pledge, and, and He did. He did even, you know, he, he met the pledge and even more than that. I think just an increase in my faith, seeing that sometimes you think that it's not going to, you know, like, how can God do it, and he ends up doing it. <laughs> to me, this is the exciting part now, because this is outside of us. Um, I think it's an opportunity to demonstrate the miracle working power of God here in Greenwich, because when this sanctuary goes up, and people find out that it wasn't built by maybe one single amazing donation or by one big corporate sponsor. It is going to demonstrate a financial miracle in a part of the country where that's frankly the kind of miracle people are going to be able to relate to. I think this community is going to be surprised by this sanctuary and this body that is Christ is building. I think that they will uh, take notice, this entire community, of a, a move of God in an area where perhaps God is not typically found. The size of that church is going to become a mega church, you know, and, and so it's, I think it's going to draw people to the church. For people to drive by and say, wow, who is this God that Harvest Time serves? In the beginning, our church was founded on a promise of acceleration. Jesus said, you say it is four months until the harvest, but I tell you that this is harvest time. Today, we are experiencing the fulfillment of that promise. This is our time. This is harvest time. Phase two is beyond a building. It is, a, it is about a vision for the Lord and what he's doing in this whole area. The church, a church like this, can be a funnel for gathering resources to then bless a particular area. This whole facility is going to be that opportunity to reach more and more people, not just in Greenwich, in Westchester, where we live, just in this whole surrounding area. I mean, there's just so much that we can offer to the community that they can't really find anywhere else, that we are not just a church for Greenwich, but we're a church to go and to equip people who will go out from Greenwich who will touch every part of the, of the globe. New building project is not only for our generation, but our future generation. The building is not the end. The building is a means to an end, but what is that end? What is going to happen around here that is going to require a facility that seats a thousand because of God's plan for this area in the future after the building is built? That's the exciting part. We don't know because I believe God is going to use it in a, in a way that is probably beyond what we could even think or expect. Things are going to happen here that our finite minds cannot understand. There are going to be so many things with God that are going exceedingly and abundantly, more than we could even try to think about right now. I think God has so much in store for this church that it's, it's hard for us to kind of grasp that. I think the building is, is just a building, but I think what happens within those walls is really what's going to kind of define us as a church, and I think that definition is going to be something pretty awesome. The Accelerate 52 Capital Campaign is a call to you, the living stones that make up Harvest Time Church. A call to unite in prayer, a call to unite in faith, a call to unite in sacrificial giving. Will you prayerfully consider what God can do through you?